And welcome back to 10 Count. I'm Steve Kim, joined by Michael Montero and Doug Fisher. It will be March Madness. I have a couple of fights on the docket now. March 4th from the Barclays Center on CBS. Danny Garcia takes on Keith Thurman. And then the next week from the Turning Stone Casino in Verona, New York, HBO's Boxing After Dark presents a main event of David Lemieux taking on Curtis Stevens. Guys, unfortunately, the first fight has been overshadowed by Angel Garcia and some of his antics. Here's my question. Why is everyone so offended now by Angel Garcia? It, it kind of reminds me of that famous line from Chris Rock when he talked about Sigmund and Freud, <laughs> where, where the tiger didn't go crazy. The tiger, tiger went tiger. tiger. Right. Why, right. Why, why, did, why is Angel Garcia now stepping over the line? This is who he is. This yeah. is part of the This shtick has been going on for several years. Um, he does it because it, it works for his son. It, it does get into the head of his opponents. It got into the head of Amir Khan. That was really yeah. Danny Garcia's breakout fight. And uh, Garcia said a lot of things that were racist um, and also uh, anti-Muslim. Yeah. You know, he went after the religion. There's, there's, nothing's out of bounds for Angel Garcia. He's going to yeah. attack everything. And he was given a pass for it against Amir Khan. Um, he wasn't given a pass, and he shouldn't get a pass for it any t anytime he's uttering racial slurs and epithets, uh, and, or if he's going after people's um, nationality, their ethnicity, their religious background. But he's being called on it now, um, and maybe it's because it, it's again, he slandered an African American. And, and Keith Thurman, or maybe everyone is just plain sick of Angel Garcia by, by this point. But um, I, I honestly think he needs to be nailed. I, I think he needs to be called to task because we've been tolerating it for far too long. Um, it, it's not like he's helping to sell tickets and that's not an excuse for it anyways. I, I've heard some people give him a pass saying, well, he, he's just trying to sell the show. And I'm like, no, no, it, he doesn't care. Does this help as sell long as, tickets? No, it doesn't. Nobody it do, likes In fact, this. I think it, it, it hurts the show. Um, and if you're CBS, do you want to be involved with the sport where it gets this ugly? Is, it is it there, hurts us. Is there a double standard because it's a trainer doing it? Because we've seen fighters get suspended for much less than this, right? right. Adrian mm. Broner got in trouble years ago for the can man comments, the Mexican and all that. Oh, right. Is there a double, a double standard because it's a trainer? That's, Is he that's, getting a pass because well, of that? You know, Doug, you go to that point about slamming African Americans and he dropped the bomb. And I don't right, the comment. end bomb. Yeah. Yeah. He did that to Zab Judah. I'm just saying all this yeah. talk of he needs to be banned or, or I'm so outraged and you're tweeting about it while you're laughing on stage with the guy. <laughs> if you're that outraged, pull your association from the fight. And I asked this in my column today. If you're so offended by Angel Garcia, will that stop you from watching or attending the fight? I don't think it will. Yeah, if you're a hardcore fan, no. It, it, that's, no. I mean, listen, boxing's not PC, and it's actually one of the things I like about boxing. And I'm glad it's not. There is a line, and Garcia did but, cross it. Right. And, but you're right, he has been crossing it for years. And everyone that's associated with them that are making money associated with the sun or, you know, guys that want to do the clickbait, they nervously or they just flat out laugh along and think it's funny when he makes fun of immigrants. And yeah. I'm saying that's fair game, I guess. But remember one thing, you enabled this, you harbored this, you promoted this, and I don't know, can you really tell a son your father can't work the corner? I, I don't know, I, to me, it's just to me, listen, he is what he is, he's the lowest common denominator of society, and in many respects, the PBC marketed towards this. It's well, their problem now. And how much of the media, particularly the independent media on YouTube, and a lot of the YouTube guys that are the PBC pom-pom waivers, stick a camera on his face and just ask him a question, baiting him right. to yeah. say something stupid and so does. they can get a video that they gets 200,000 clicks yeah. and they can get well, subscribers. Yeah. I just, they built this monster. Yeah. Well, it, it's interesting to me that there are certain people out there that want to make an issue out of an email sent to a Golden Boy publicist. Not one that a Golden Boy publicist sent out, but that <laughs> right. con 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 contains some very ugly, vile stuff. Right. Okay, well, that's a private email. This thing was out in public all of a sudden, they don't want to speak out about it. Why? Right. And I've Why? received, I've received uh, not emails. Doesn't. Everyone's afraid to send me an email about it because I will put it in the mailbag and I will address it. And, and still, folks, bring it on if you want. Um, but just on social media, on Twitter, I've had folks saying, well, is Golden Boy going to make a statement? Or how come 
the, 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 the PR person with Golden Boy didn't check this guy for, for his, his language, and, and he dropped an N-bomb uh, yeah. and referred to Al Heyman as Black Hitler. Um, so uh, if, you, if you demand that Golden Boy make some kind of statement or say something about it, you should demand the same thing from Al Heyman yeah. in regard to Angel Garcia. Unless, of course, your agenda is not based on truth and facts. But anyway, go ahead, Mike. I was yeah. just going to say, number one, can, can you all stop calling everyone you don't like Hitler? I'm just I'm getting sick yeah. of that. And that's not just in boxing. Just stop it. But number two, we're all on Twitter. We have followers that are kind of wackos. You guys yeah. see some. Are we responsible <laughs> for that? You're not responsible for who follows you, for who messages you something crazy. It's one thing if you respond and say some of those things yourself. But with the Golden Boy thing, comparing that to Angel Garcia is stupid. But here's the thing. We haven't even talked about the damn fight yet. Because this is <laughs> overshadowing yeah. the fight. And that's, that's such a, a shame. It is no. a good fight. Is and it the best fight in PBC's history, at least on paper? Uh, is it? Matt's it's it's up be. there. It's, it's up two there. of the biggest names. You got right? two unbeaten guys. Both guys have some personality. They have ability. They, they're both uh, major title holders at welterweight. Right. Style-wise, I, I don't I don't know how great a fight it's going to be. Maybe I think that depends on if Keith Thurman, if he wants to stand and trade, or if he wants to power pot shot, you know, punch on the fly, hit and run. Which he's been doing more of lately. Which I think will work against Garcia. Yeah. I think Garcia has a problem with lateral movement. Yeah. So, but... Listen, on paper, yeah, it's one of the best. But it's it's one of the top five PBC matchups. And Absolutely. by the way, um, I think Angel Garcia should not be banned from the corner. You're stuck with him. And if, and if his son <laughs> wants him as his trainer, I, I don't look at this as a Panama Lewis situation where I thought Panama's actions absolutely dictated and deserve for lifetime no, banishment. When I say throw the book at Garcia, I'm not saying ban him from the corner. I yeah. say fine him. Okay. Set wow. an example. I, I'm with that. And for all you media guys out there who are, you know, talking and you're so triggered and you're going to your safe space right now, oh just boy. remember, uh -oh. <laughs> you built this monster. So you're being hypocritical about this situation. And guys, real quickly, we'll talk about this closer to March 11th. Stevens Lemieux, you got two legitimate left hookers, and I think both guys are fighting for relevancy. The winner stays a contender. The loser... I don't know if they go home, but they got to get the hell out of here. You know what I like about this fight? We don't have to sit there and analyze it for five minutes. It's two guys who can crack. They yeah. come forward, they punch hard, they don't like each other. It's, it's a fun fight. Yeah, it, can I stop hearing that well, both of <laughs> these guys lost to Golovkin, so, so they're trash, so why are they fighting? This, both of these guys are top ten middleweights. The winner of this fight is arguably a top five middleweight and still a big part of the picture. And what I love about it, I don't know who wins. Yeah. I yeah. can't pick a winner. Absolutely. So there you have it. Some stuff going on in March on behalf of Doug Fisher, Michael Montero. This is Steve Kim saying goodbye, everybody.